what's going on guys Geo Hoops and supposedly Markel Fultz's jumper actually has been fixed. During the beginning of the 2017-2018 season his jumper it completely went away. He was honestly one of the best players in college. He was drafted number one by the 76ers and he was just a really good overall player. During the season like the beginning of the season he got like an injury in his shoulder. It was very weird. He didn't have to get surgery for it but he did go have to go through months of rehab. He didn't end up coming back until like the end of the season and he played in the playoffs but you can tell his jumper was completely bad he had like a hitch in his shoulder when he shot the ball it like hitched up and then it was an easy shot to block basically i'll actually show you guys a clip right now sure being the number one pick and because he missed a lot of time in the preseason he's coming off the bench right here the, the, the shooting mechanics is what i'm interested in that's a bad looking free throw right there and he's messing around with it and that does not look fluid at all. He shot two for five in the preseason. That badly misses. He As you guys can see, he's like missing a bunch of shots. It was really bad, obviously. Him and like Lonzo were like the big talks of the draft, and Lonzo's shot was obviously bad too from uh, his college days. But yet again, Markel Fultz had to miss a bunch of games. So he's been working with a trainer recently over the summer, and this trainer actually came out with this statement. The tweet says that there's buzz building around the 76ers guard Markel Fultz. Fultz workouts and framed hoops trained. Drew Halen tells Fultz jumper is rebuilt, and that is a result of the 20 year old guard is completely different and vastly improved player. So supposedly he rebuilt his whole jump shot change changed it he was like pulling up like arcing his shot really low in front of his eyes and that's obviously bad you don't want to do that and obviously he changed his whole jump shot the way he shot the ball when you guys looked at him during his college days he was an explosive player he hit like a Russell Westbrook type talent he can also shoot the ball very well during college he just completely broke during the season and I'm actually really excited to see if his jumper actually did improve there's a bunch of workout videos of him now shooting the ball and he's actually making a lot of shots and not missing as many as he was during the beginning of the season when he was training then but also though Tobias Harris from the Clippers actually declined an extension with the Clippers for 80 million dollars over four years now this could be one of two reasons first of all he could want a better contract after next season when his contract does end or he actually wants to move places and joins another team maybe the 76ers maybe the Lakers the Lakers could really use a shooter like him he averaged around 20 points uh, the Rockets could use him as well any team in the league can really use him because he averaged 20 points he shot the three ball really good he was in the three-point contest this year or last year I guess the last NBA season and he was just a really good player and obviously if the Clippers let him go then they basically lost the trade completely considering that they're losing DeAndre Jordan they lost Blake Griffin they lose Tobias Harris this team is definitely in rebuild mode and that could be a reason why he wants to leave the team as well let me know what you guys thought how you guys think he declined the extension because he wants more money next season which obviously the cap space will be a lot bigger or do you guys think that he wants to join another team and also Mark Hill Foles do you guys think his jumper actually improved or that's just the trainer hyping him up for the next season Honestly, I'm excited to see it. I want him to do good because obviously more talent in the league means more teams to bring down the Warriors. And who doesn't want to see a dynasty like the Warriors fall and obviously get taken by the little guys. So let me know what you guys' thoughts are. Obviously, if you're a Warriors fan, you wouldn't like that quote right there. But yeah, with that being said, make sure you guys follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. But I'm out, guys. Peace. Thanks for watching. Let's go.